Good morning, everyone. I'm up at the crack of dawn this morning, 6 a.m. Can't sleep. Anyone that's been following us knows we've had um, some issues, well, quite a few issues with the koi, the bacteria infection, ulcers. Um, they do seem to be coming on the men, but it's made us look at our equipment and any weak spots we have. Um, we've decided we're going to dismantle this backy shower because it comes through the top skimmer straight in to it. No pre-filtration, no you know pre-solids take out. Um, so we're wondering if that, because it's never cleaned either, is actually building up not just good bacteria but the bad stuff as well because there's no pre-filter I mean the main pond has the sieve first then it's filtered through the nexon and obviously the nexon gets cleaned and that's filthy when it's cleaned out I tend to, I tend to clean the nexon every day and it's still filthy yet we do this one from the skimmer and don't even think whether it's dirty or not so we've switched that off see if that helps the fish uh, if if it appears to be that the fish are better without it then we're going to dismantle it and maybe put an easy pod or something on through the skimmer instead um, I don't know what you guys think whether you know I'm talking absolute nonsense and that backy shower should be fine coming through the skimmer without any pre-filtering um, let me know also Devon Coy mentioned the decking under the waterfall so we've looked that up and didn't realize that decking is tanninized treated so it lasts longer and I mean there's no confirmed idea that you shouldn't use it but it's running there as you can see at the back and it does get very wet and there is a possibility that it is leaching harmful chemicals into the pond so we're going to have to have a rethink of that anybody got any ideas should we put a liner all the way around that and underneath it and seal it or do we just take um, everything away all the edging so it's a difficult one because we added that last year and we added the backy, the little backy shower last year towards the end of the season and I've not had any issues but that doesn't mean it hasn't been building up with dirt or bacteria. I mean, we have noticed that the waterfall does seem to get quite dirty. I don't know if that should be normal as well. You know, that it's just fine particles coming out of the Nexon and it shouldn't be doing any harm or whether we should get rid of the whole waterfall vegetable filter and go back to just piping in the pond water from the Nexon which is what we used to do so if anyone's got any thoughts whether they think what we're doing is probably the right thing to do or we're talking nonsense and we should just leave everything the way it is I mean the water tests always test fine but that means nothing with a bacteria infection or leaching it doesn't, doesn't test for um, chemicals does it Ollie's uh, saw his tail on back there some of it's got knocked off but again it's healing got a lot of um, car pox this year on the younger fish did scrape some off and do a sample just to make sure it wasn't any unidentified parasite but it is just car pox now Dolly this little autumn leaf had him in an aquarium really really tiny like that 
and we popped him in into the pond. Not last year, the year before, and he kept he kept going down the um, bottom drain into the vortex because he was so little, so we had to put some stones around the vortex, which was funny. He's now three times the size that he used to be, and his dark pattern is starting to lighten up into the tan. So it's very interesting to watch him. There's Ghost the saw on his side. He's looking better, not as pink. And the saw on the top of his head is looking great. The heater that we installed, thank God, it's not kicked in yet. The pond's at 21. I think the heater's um, set at 18. So you can't go any lower than that through September. Next month we'll buy the new uh, polycar to go over the top and then we're going to seal the walls in either side as well with either polycarb or heavy duty plastic covering. Again to help it insulate for the heating. Fish are eating loads because the weather's been so warm. They are on the mend, but like I said, it does make you think and look at your um, equipment and filtration with a fresh eye when you get a serious problem like we've had this year. So, any thoughts on that decking under there, whether you think it's harmful, whether it's leaching, tanninizes, tanninizes it, tanninized wood decking, whether that should come off. Um, that's it, that plant over there has just grown massive in the waterfall since we bought it. So that's it, just a quick one this morning. Any advice would be appreciated on your thoughts on what I said. See you next time.